so in the end of the part two we reached to the end of that example of those three boys standing in the assembly named Usman so now I am going to draw a simple now I am going to draw now I am not going to draw a full microprocessor I am going to draw a simple arithmetic logic unit data register and address register and also an output device now for example 5 and 5 is stored in the data register and plus sign is present over here now what will happen accumulator will call 5 into ALU that is automatic logic unit now data register will be confused to send this 5 or this 5 so to solve this problem address register is present this every program word or data word is given a specific address let's give them the address of 1067 and 1053 now if the accumulator calls the 51053 of ad 5 of address 1053 so this 5 will go and assemble over here and then it calls 5 of address 1067 so this 5 will go and assemble over here so this is the purpose of address register now what is general purpose register this is the accumulator and this is the <coughs> general purpose register in case that accumulator is not working so general purpose register comes into action general purpose register does the same work as the work of accumulator it also holds the results of the calculations and display the result in the output screen so there is no difference between accumulator and general purpose register except their name okay if the accumulator of our calculator is not working so general purpose register will do the work of accumulator but there are some conditions applied to convert accumulator into general purpose register that is not in our course so that is finished uh, microprocessor basic information of microprocessors has been completed thank you for watching my video